So when you're dealing with some certain accusations when it comes to human beings, like this Chris Hardwick thing is an, a perfect example of that. I mean, he was just reinstated yesterday by AMC. <clears throat> and um, yeah, that's a weird one because she wrote the it was an ex-girlfriend that wrote yes. something about him. Yeah, I, I read that. Well, she clearly didn't tell the truth about some aspects of their relationship. She cheated on him, and that's why he got rid of her mm. or broke up with her. Mm -hmm. And then he, she also said he was his terrible boyfriend, and he did all. But then there's videos of her talking about what an amazing boyfriend he was mm -hmm. while they were together, about how he stayed with her in the hospital and yeah. slept by her bed, and it's like. And she was also she had a, a bunch, a host of mental illnesses that she mm -hmm. described in their video about like not being able to drive down the street with the windows open because she was worried the germs going to get in her car and all mm -hmm. and some of those she recovered from and some of them she didn't like it's and oh, there's another problem with people when it comes to when they're talking about things they might not even be lying yeah that's they just the might thing. be they, might they just might have it. a distorted perception of reality yeah that is another problem with yeah. human beings when it comes to any sort of interaction between two people especially after a breakup i think the way that a person can view the time they spent with someone can very much change based on you know their current situation or how that breakup happened 100 percent. yeah on both sides mm -hmm. the uh, the real problem though is what, what we were saying is that human beings it's very difficult i can't read minds mm-hmm you can't read minds, you can't look into memories. So we're relying on a person's description and then we have to rely on what we know about them. Mm -hmm. what, how, how, what, what, what we know about their ability to describe things accurately, what we know about their perceptions of reality, their delusions, their, 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 their clarity. It's, it's fucking super tricky. Yeah. I mean, my rule of thumb, what I would say to people is unless you know the two people, I don't think you can ever really know what happened. So in that case of, say, you leave and Jamie tells you I said something about you, you're probably going to go with Jamie, right? Because you know him. So I would say the Jamie's same thing. Jamie's a little crazy. I might, <laughs> I might go. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's for sure if I didn't know you mm -hmm. and, and Jamie told me you did something fucked up, I would side with Jamie. Mm -hmm. But even that's weird. Like you, if I'm not there, yeah. if I don't know, if oh. you say I didn't do anything, yeah. I'm like, well, maybe one day you'll be my best friend. And maybe uh, one day Jamie will turn out to be a fucking psycho. I was like, remember when we used to think Jamie was okay? <laughs> He's fucking crazy. But that's the thing, too. I think sometimes with – I do empathize with some the women who say if this happens to them and, and people say, well, that's a nice guy. I know that guy. That's my buddy. I've known him forever. Right. But you didn't date him. So right. how do you know? You don't know. Right. Yeah. You don't know. God damn it. <laughs> it's fucking tricky. Yeah. You know, have you ever seen that episode of Black... Do you ever watch Black Mirror? I watched one episode, so everyone tells me how amazing this show is, and I think it is amazing, but I saw one episode that really freaked me out. So I Was it Crocodile? It no, it was the one about... Um, it was actually about a, a the boy who was a pedophile, and then he was being watched and blackmailed. Whoa. Creeped me out. I didn't watch that one. Okay. But, uh, but there's one called Crocodile. Okay. And it is easily the most disturbing episode of a television show I've ever watched in my life and uh, it, it has to do with technology that allows people to read memories okay and uh, I'll leave it at that because okay. no spoiler alerts here but until it is a fucking dark it's, episode it stays it with you after right? but this one does <laughs> this one's dark I mean this I mean I can't I can't I will give too much away if I talk about it but the concept is that you can they have a machine and they set this machine up and through this machine they can literally read your memories okay until that happens we really don't know and you know there's been things in my life where i looked back on it and i had a perception and then i went to the place where i grew up and i was like i don't remember it looking like yeah. this i don't remember this being so close mm -hmm. oh the streets right here mm -hmm. oh, this is where the house is oh and then you have to kind of like remap your memories. Like, yeah. okay, we got to clean these memories up and try to figure out what's accurate and what's not. Mm -hmm. But then this, this, I'm just talking about like this, the neighborhood where I grew up in. But what about you're adding in emotions? Mm -hmm. Then you're adding in painful emotions because of breakups and mm -hmm. perhaps suicidal thoughts. And time, oh my time God. going by also. Yes, time, sure. I mean, it's been absolutely proven that eyewitness testimony is the least accurate piece of evidence that any investigator can ever use in, in terms of like trying to figure out what happened at the scene of a crime or anything involving any sort of trauma. 